On 13 December 2017, Feldaus Amasa was not called to the bar because she declined to remove a veil. The Joint Committee on Justice and Judiciary has the mandate of the House to intervene. We are law-abiding citizens. However much we disagree or we may disagree with the premise of such an injunction, we are duty-bound following the tenets of the law to give some respect to that interlocutory injunction. This is the second time the investigative hearing called by the legislators will be stalled by separate court orders. Some committee members are angered by the injunction. Discussions and debates in parliament are absolutely privileged and cannot be questioned either by a court or by any other authority other than itself. It grants members of the House and the Senate immunity for liability under defamation, privacy, or anything. We can go ahead and do this public hearing and will be covered under the law. I respect the view of the lady who believed that the status quo could be shaken. And I believe one day, after everything has been vacated, we will come here, we will listen to all views, and justice will certainly be done. Then the chairman rules. I would apologize uh, for those of you who have traveled uh, from far and wide. And before the committee members could rise, the Islamic groups vented their anger. Master Fridausa has challenged the status quo. She is our heroine of today. She is, she is the Amazin of the Muslims, the Amazin of Africa. And we are saying today, Master Fridausa must be called to back. Fridaus, the lady in the center of the controversy, declined to talk to the press. The groups called on the committee to analyze the 89 memoranda it has so far received and make appropriate recommendations to the House. They believe some external forces are determined to compromise the investigation.